Welcome back everyone to Beyond Reality. So, did a little bit more iron mining here and just to give you an idea of the area I've dug out. Wow. And there is still a lot more iron here. So today my objective is to make a saw, I believe. I, I was wanting a grindstone and to do that I needed a saw and to do that I believe I needed a hammer and maybe some other kind of Greg Tech tool. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I'm just going to head back up, get kind of a derpy staircase that goes back up to the surface and... I I turned off the uh, what's it called? Let's see waypoints. No, it's not that. What? Where is it? Waypoint beacons. I think. Yeah, I disabled the beacons, and that is. Let me turn them on just to show. It's these things on the map here, which are useful, but bad thing is. They don't go away when you press F1, which I need to make screenshots to make thumbnails, and then those things get in the way, and yeah. So that's why I've just turned them off. And if I need to, they're easy enough to turn back on. I kind of wish there was a hotkey you could use, or you could use one of the mini map presets to change that, but no, that's a global setting. But I got a little marker here with some yellow limonite on top of it to let me know which cave to go down into at the very least. And got another little marker over there near my house. Or if you can call it a house. It, it's, it's a cave. Alright, I feel so slow. Why am I... Why am I slow? Well, my field of view is a little bit low, I... Let's try bumping that up to 90. Maybe that'll feel a little bit better. Uh, it kind of makes my frame rate a little jumpy, though. Okay. Well, I shouldn't be... I will leave it alone. Recording at 60 frames per second is a little bit tougher on my computer, but... It's... It works fairly well. Okay, so we need to... No, wait, I've already smelted up some iron. Right here. A stack of it, even. I don't know how much I'll need, but definitely more than you would normally expect. I have noticed that the redwood planks actually give you four sticks out of, out of the recipe instead of two. But uh, the planks that you get out of the log is still just two. Which is kind of interesting. So I need a saw. And to make a saw, I need a saw blade, which requires a file and a hammer. Hi, Creeper. Uh, file requires two plates, and a hammer requires six ingots or gems or something along those lines. But that green sapphire has actually got a decent durability. I I don't have any Greg type gemstones. I did find some some interesting ores here. Almond almondine, which I believe you can make into some kind of gemstone somehow. Red garnets. Okay. Uh, lo losing my train of thought once again. So let's make a hammer. And I did actually make uh, one of these water shard hammers for the Fortune 3. I'm not sure how well that works or what it works on exactly. But this thing does not have very good durability. That 6400 is not what it seems. It uses up, I think, like... Oh, it's at least 50 per use. Probably a couple hundred. Depending on what you use it for. Okay, and the file required plates, which you make like that. Oh, rail, rail craft plates. Can these be... Huh. 
Okay, it looks like they are or dictionary. Plate any iron, plate iron. Okay. So these should work. Okay, how much durability did you use? You used 400. 400 per plate. Wow. Okay, and the files made like so. Alright, we're getting high tech here. Now we need two more plates. And is this shapeless? No, it has to be in that specific order. Okay, iron saw blade. And now we just need to combine it with a stick. And that makes a saw. Can also harvest ice. Okay. So, what can we do with a saw? Well, lots of things, apparently. But I think you can use these to get more wood out of your wood. Oh, you can saw a dead bush into sticks. That's uh, interesting. Saplings into stick. A log into four planks. Out of curiosity, let's see how much durability that we'll use. So, we got 25,600. Sub items don't have damaged states. What? They use 200 durability. So what is it? Why did it display that message? Let's see. Uh, I, do, I do have a regular oak log here. So if I do this, it doesn't say anything bad. They only displayed that message for the redwood logs. I don't know, I'll have to look that up later, but it looks like these are regular planks that can be used just like any other. They stack with the regularly crafted planks, so I think we're good to go. So now, what I was wanting and talking about like seven minutes ago was the grindstone which we can use to get double out of some of our ores, not all of them. But I will take whatever I can get at this point in the game. So let's see, uh... Is this the best way to make sticks, or... No, if we use the saw, we'll get more. So let's see how much durability it uses. That used 200? So 400 to cut the planks and 200 to cut sticks. Or was that how it was? I don't know. So I believe our gear was made something like this. Wood gear. Awesome. Okay, now we just need some quartz. Which, uh, there you are. And then I think we need some stone. And here we go. Quartz grindstone. And we'll need a crank for it, of course. Which, a few more sticks there. Oh, if you cut the uh, redwood planks with the saw, they become regular, regular sticks. Alright. Good to note. So let's put you here, put the crank on top, and what kind of ores can we grind up? I think anything that has a normal name, like this copper ore, we could probably grind, this iron, but not the lignite coal. Looks like there are some things we can do with that, but can't put it in the grindstone like we can with, say, this tin. So it's anything with a normal name. Right. And there we go. We got two copper dust out of one ore. And it does unfortunately require me to sit there 
holding right click or I could use a macro to do it if I really wanted to. But uh, holding right click should be good enough since we don't really have many normally named ores. So I've noticed that we have Steve's workshop, so we have the production table. And I kind of wonder if maybe this would be a good thing to make. It might be a better way to make use of our lignite coal if it can accept that. And I don't know if it can. So... How did you go? Just like that, and then... Boom. Production table. Easy. Okay, so let's see... I have all my lignite coal in here. Let's see, can you take lignite coal? Well, yep, it ate it. So, lignite coal... Not very good, but uh, this will allow us to, I assume, get more out of what we have. I believe the production table is a bit more efficient with its fuel usage. So let's go ahead and grab a couple furnaces and put them in here. So, normally to cook one item would require... 200 fuel, so a plank is enough for one and a half items. And it looks like when I put in one lignite coal, it gives me 300 power. But how much power does it take to cook a single item? It took 100, if I'm not mistaken. Awesome. So if we use the production table, which I wish I'd been using a long time ago, we will get three more, or three times more out of our fuel, which is nice. Very nice. So I might go ahead and just load up this one with furnaces and then make another one and fill it with crafting tables or something like that. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, but will it, will it accept the Natura crafting tables? No, it won't. Of course not. Why would it? Okay, so I'm going to have to make them out of oak. Which is okay. I mean, I can craft them with the saw now. And that has to be above the logs. So do that. And three more crafting tables for us to use. There we go. And we should also be able to make some kind of upgrade to allow some more storage here. Let's see. Steve's workshop. Then we have the extra storage upgrade, which is what I want. So let's go ahead and let's make several of these. I mean, I've got four chests in my inventory. I don't remember where they came from. Were they in my inventory this whole time? I forget. Okay, and just like that. Doesn't stack well. Let's see what it means by doesn't stack well. Okay, so that gives us six slots. Now if I put in another one, I can't. That is not an option. Okay, so I guess by doesn't stack well, it means does not stack at all. So now I've got these little slots here that I could, I don't know, store my tools in. And they'll always be here whenever I need to craft stuff. And let's go ahead and dump the, less, the rest of this lignite. Oh, wait, that's not the one I want to dump you into. My bad. Goes up here. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that wasn't a bad mistake. I can go mine some more coal. I actually want something kind of relaxing to do for a change. 
I had a, I've had a very busy day, kind of, and a very busy day yesterday. Does that mean I had a very busy yesterday? Or does it not work like that? Alright, and since we would probably need wood to craft a frequently, why don't we put some wood in one of these grids? There we go. And it would be nice if my bed was in a more convenient location and I didn't have, you know, this terrible leak coming out of my wall. Which is totally not made out of dirt. This, I know it says dirt, but it's not dirt. I don't have dirt walls. This is, uh, uh, limestone. Yeah, it's a brown limestone. Looks just like dirt, sounds just like it, but it's not. So I went and mined a bunch of lignite coal while watching some videos. Uh, mined about eight stacks and there's still plenty left in there. And, oh, it's all done. And I was thinking about, it'd be nice if that could be extracted automatically and the fuel could be put back in, everything else could go in this chest, but... I can't make a redstone engine. I have no redstone. No. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm going to go mining some more. But first, we could actually make a bucket now. So why don't we make a bucket? Because that is an indispensable tool. And it's made like so. There we go. How's our hammer doing? It's uh, lost 3600 durability. Could be worse. And I will take this water with me. I think that's why I never bothered to... Oh, well, part of the reason was because I swim up the water whenever I want to get back up here. Anyway, I'm going to go do some caving. I think this is probably a good place to end the episode. I'm kind of starting to get back to a point where uh, maybe I'll be making videos at a rate like I was before, putting one out every other day at the very least, every day, possibly. I don't know how long that's going to last, we'll just have to see. But thank you for watching, if you're not already subscribed, don't forget you can do so to keep up with my videos, and I will see you next time.